like like everywhere else, we go along and put the woodchip pathway down and we yep. put a trench out underneath yep. it. So right here underneath yep. my feet, there's a trench that runs all the way up. And this is the north side of the house? All the way up to, to right here <laughs> where we have a, a hardscaped walkway. Sure. Yeah, hardscaped walkway right under, my, right under my foot, right there. Uh-huh. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll take a, a piece of PVC pipe and run it underneath here to here. If we make the trench smaller than the patio steps, we probably wouldn't have to use a PVC pipe. Because it would be like a little, like, like a wadi, like that. No. Uh, but over here. Yeah, but, but I'm not going to be removing the, 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 the flagstone every dang time I need to, to scoop out the trench. Uh, we're on a, we're on a 45 Aww, right here. lavender's dying. And we'll have it run straight across to this corner here. Yeah, wadi. Which is all downslope from there. Now there's a slight grade here, down to it. so that means that Just water, water slightly. from the roof will come down. Hi, right. let's get back over here. So the water from the roof is going to come down. It's going to, it's going to hit right about <laughs> from here to here. It'll fill up this trench here. But there's a little excess. All of this right here is dug out. There's a pool underneath here. And we'll get a we'll like get, a swimming pool. No, like a little, a little pool, a little a little little minor pond. Uh, and at some point, we'll go ahead and, and drop in a. We'll drop in a little miniature liner at this point. Oh boy! Mary. Oh, I'm sorry. What? At some point, we'll go ahead and drop in a little miniature, a little pond liner, like a little kidney shape pond liner right there. For shrimp, goldfish. That's oh. Like that, yeah. Really? You'll put it right here. Yeah, and then the overflow will go into this into this trench system. Of course, the water coming down. Oh, dropping the chickpeas. The water coming down from there. <laughs> uh, whenever it's not much, we'll hit and splash off of this off of this stump and and just water in this general area where I have hostas and ferns and stuff like that will come up here. Right now, it's just the hostas, but uh, those are June hostas. Stumpy a little further back. No, uh, it depends. Maybe stump should be in the if corner. If it's just a little drizzle, then it's going to land right there. That's no big deal. But if it's enough water that it makes a difference, it's going to hit here and splatter instead of all striking and disturbing the mulch. And then if it's really hard, then we've got these here, these rocks at the surface that will just keep it. There's a, there's a, there's a trench running under here too, mm -hmm. under this rock. So there's a little, there's a little, a little three-way trench in here. And then it opens up into this. Okay. So we planted, uh, let's see. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, I think there's 14, 15, 16 cannas in this area. He had a lot with, of cannas. With, with, an, with an average of uh, two and a half days worth of food per, per canna. So that's uh, 40 days worth of calories in this little strip right here. So it would be like super potato. Yeah, hey! Dog stands a little bit. Dog, why do you have to stomp on everything? Jeez. Really? You stomp on a worse. She's got tiny feet. She's only 40 pounds. Mm -hmm. I can't do that. I would sink to my knee and ruin your right. plants. And we just got that softened up so, so that the cannas can grow in it. You're going to run around compacting it. Really? Right. You got stickers in your toes again. Mm -hmm. Spreading them around. All right. <laughs> so that's fine. Over here on this side, this source cup over. Uh, like me to walk around. That, that little that little berm right there was the same way we did it everywhere else. Jeez. Really? It's just, fine. Just, just tear it up. Oh. Oh, I've got I've got clover soaked on the top there. We'll stay over here. We have sprout because we'll stay where we'll, we'll stay where we'll right. we'll we'll stay stay till then. Look, yeah. the original stump right there. Yeah, the old cedar stumps over here. That's the reason why we put the why we put the rice paper. So that berm there, we made the same way we did everything else with the manure port coming in, picking up that top layer of and rolling it over to, to build the foundation. Mm. Eventually that will decompose, right? Oh, and sorry make about nice, the wind. <laughs> good quality soil. So we're banking up, we're breaking up the wood chips on the on the opposite side of it so it won't erode away unless of course dogs come through it and rip it up. Really? Yeah. We can't tell the difference. Now, over here you may not be able to see it yet, but there's a little bit of green popping through here and there and there and there and there. That little bit of green, do you see some more green? That's 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 another can of it was it was a fragment that had a little bit of root attached to it and I figure if it will root and grow then I'll let it start there. But you see a little bit of green coming up here. Some like grass starts? 
it is grass, but it's a special kind of grass. These little kitty pools is where I sowed our short grain rice. Short grain rice? Short grain rice. Oh, swooshy rice. So we have our yeah, we have our very own swooshy. we have our very own rice. That's not enough to, to, to feed us for the year. This is It'll be your this, is, this 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 yeah, this is just our, our this is the our first seed. And we're going to experiment with growing the rice here after we've yeah, got. Yeah, not after, me. After I'm just got, here to eat the vegetables. After we've got our rice grown <laughs> from, from this this two little kitty pools worth of rice here, uh, assuming I can actually grow it, the plan is to extend this area out okay. and go ahead and, and build up more permanent rice paddies in the space. And because nothing else grows here. We'll go, with, we'll go with a step structure. We'll have one high, and then on either side of it. They'll be a little bit lower, and on the other side of that, a little bit lower. He's holding chickpeas in his hands, by the way. That's, yeah, that's <laughs> my hands, but. so we'll have one, two, three, four, five, maybe as much as seven. Seven. Seven little uh, kitty pools. Nine cubic foot. Uh, not. I'm thinking about going and doing doing them out of concrete. Okay. The kitty pools are movable. Concrete's not so much. So I'm going to find out if I can do it first, and then after that, we'll we'll, <laughs> we'll build a, a more permanent structure. But during, nothing else during can really the summer, go here. this area gets plenty of sunshine. But you can't really grow anything here because the driveway is under here. Right. So that's the only thing I can do. Literally, is to, is drive, that, drive that fence post. Yeah. There's so much something under here. Probably old driveway because see the driveway Lovely looks like right. that. And then it goes underneath all this. And it, yeah, grass grows there. That's all the river grows there. Yeah, so all, all I can really do here is do some sort of a, a, a raised bed structure. Is there is there a trench under my feet on this side too? No, there's not one there on your Oh, side it's just mulch. It's just mulch. <laughs> so that's what Jason's been doing. Lots of digging. And the, unfortunately, the, the picket bed is still full of mulch. And my birthday's coming up, and also my DOT physical. I was going to get a ride from him, but it, he's still got mulch in the truck. And then I realized one of the Centeras, or what do they call them? Is by Hex House. Like I could park a truck in there. We have the trailer. Longer than there before, before four, because they close at five. So like I'll be halfway to US seventy five, yeah. and halfway to Texas. Let's see. What's that? So I'm not gonna take you. Yeah, you don't have to. I'm not gonna take you for your DSP. Well, I was gonna. So I was gonna. Yeah, I was gonna go by the go by the one that's by the mulch waste site, but. You clearly don't need any mulch. I don't need any more mulch right now because I went and got it yesterday, but it rained yesterday and so I didn't oh, get the opportunity thanks, to do the digging Season. that I needed to do because remember, I got to dig out. In most stickers. places, I, I have to dig out and put this, goose grass. Put those trenches in. Yeah, that's goose grass. <laughs> you got to put those trenches in before I put the mulch in. But it's over there. What's over where? You got a couple things planted. One in the um, kitty pool and. So, so yeah, we got the, 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 next the, the rice pool. in there. And this is a. Uh, this is dill. What's the thing between them? I mean, the thing between them. It's the thing over there. Weeds. It's just some weeds. Uh, if you say so. Yeah, it's some weeds. It's weeds, Mary. Weeds. Anyway, so this is after April showers. That was last weekend. This weekend's the last weekend of April. First weekend of May. Yay. Yeah. I'll be forty. It's a little something. late to be. It's a little late to be planting some of these things like chickpeas, but they'll still make before the before the season's over. Yeah. Unfortunately, I can't start any earlier because then you would just be planting in the middle of winter. But oh. you could use the time. You could. The interesting thing about chickpeas, you know, you usually think of this as being a, a Middle Eastern crop, something that, that you grow in a hot climate. But out that way, they don't grow it in the desert area. They grow it in the mountains where it's cool. So it's actually a cool season type crop. Oh. Yeah. They grow a lot of uh, chickpeas in the United States around Montana. Come here, dog. High up in the mountains. Hey. <clears throat> there. I seem to have lost my dog. Oh, those, <laughs> pull those wheeze. Oh. Congratulations. Hey. There you go, friend. <laughs>